What's going on today guys, Lego Man 213 here, bringing you back another video. So, in this video, uh, these are my best custom figures, and then I also scrounged around through my Lego bins and kind of picked and choose, yeah, picked and choose, chosen, uh, I guess like the best Lego figures that, that come basically stock from Lego themselves not the ones that I have customized. Now, before I forget and get into it, guys, I also want to remind you, please hit the subscribe button, guys. My goal is a 1,000, and uh, we're at 978 subscribers last time I checked, so keep hitting that subscribe button, guys. Um, I, this, this video probably will be, uh, it'll draw more, uh, more of like a different crowd to the channel uh, because normally I've just been doing the Lego trucks and the tanks and the pickups and whatnot. So I figured doing figures and Star Wars figures and whatnot, it would bring more of a different crowd in. So hopefully that works out. Just going to move that one light over a little bit. All right, so starting off in the front here. So one, two, three, four. So basically four and five and three quarters. No, four and three quarters rows uh, are the custom figures. And then the back... Uh, three rows here are the Lego ones. Now, I have duplicates, and what that means is, so these three figures right here, the ones that I, my fingers are on, I also have the three Lego figures. So that kind of gives you guys an idea of what I'm getting at in terms of the customization of these figures compared to the Lego ones. Lego, in my opinion, certain figures, they didn't do as well of a as good of a job as they could have or should have um but without further ado let's get right into it so starting off I'll st i don't remember all the names of these figures but i will uh just go through real quick for you so starting off here this is uh captain gregor i do believe that was his uh name come on focus Focus, focus, focus. There we go. So this is Captain Gregor. Um, just a normal phase one figure that I went and I shaved off the wing and uh, painted the helmet. I did a lot of weathering. Now he is missing his backpack. That is one thing. Um, I, I took the backpack off a long time ago. I don't remember why. But I used one of the Bomb Squad Trooper helmets. Um, but normal clone face. I uh, used metal for the shoulder pads, and then I sharpied. Well, what I did originally was for the arms to show the black detail on the arms, I went through and painted them black and then went through and added the actual yellow paint and white paint and whatnot. Um, on the back, you can see the back detail it is all hand done. Well, actually, she can see it better. All hand done by me. Now, guys, I do want to mention my vision isn't the best. So doing very small, fine detail is actually extremely hard for me. So what I'm able to accomplish via these and the trucks is actually very remarkable. So that is Captain Gregor. Commander Gregor? I can't remember. Um, next up, this is... Um, uh, Bob Lee Swagger from the movie Shooter, uh, played by Mark Wahlberg. This is in his uh, snow camo when he's a sniper in the mountains when they uh, meet the senator and the colonel. Now, a lot of this was just cheesecloth that I cut and glued and ripped up just to, to give that uh, snow ghillie suit effect. You can see there I have his face with the hood, and then I have um, his chin, well, basically his nose and mouth and chin, his front facial part covered like how it would be in the movie and I painted the whole figure white and then just added the cheesecloth in there as well that was white there next up these one two three four figures are all figures from a long long time ago primarily this one right here um and the skeleton now these two were actually in a mock that I had done I think two three years ago back when my channel was very small and just starting out um, these are all Conan the Barbarian, the original Conan the Barbarian movie with, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, very good movie. Uh, I do recommend though, that if you are not at least, I would say 16 or, uh, older, I would not recommend watching it. It's, uh, 
It's rated R, but is a very good movie. Uh, kind of a lot of uh, life uh, lessons, I guess you could say. So first figure up, this is Valeria. She is kind of uh, Arnold's, well, Conan's, I guess you could say. Uh, girlfriend, I guess you could say. They, they ended up, you know, they hooked up and whatnot. Um, you know, just a simple uh, dress, not even a dress, just more of like an ancient bikini, I guess. Uh, she really didn't have very many clo much clothes on in the movie. Uh, due to the time period um, where the movie set, it's basically... Uh, uh, where am I thinking here? Like out in Asia, uh, the open steppe, um, Mongolian area kind of. Like uh, Russian-Mongolian area. Uh, region and then the the area uh time period would be more like uh barbarian era mixed with a little bit of uh medievalness i guess you could say but you're probably wondering you know how i did certain detail to show her chest those are just beads off of say like a chain that you would use uh for like a ceiling fan just to show her chest detail um Paint, yeah, I painted the brown on the arms. Those are actually just basically like wrist guards. Now, you're probably wondering, what is that thing in her hand? That is actually her sword. Um, when I found the figure, I pulled her out of the uh, mess, and her sword was actually very bent because it's very similar to the one that Conan has here. So I wanted to redo that, so I just took it off. But I kept her piece on there. That way I would actually have that piece because that's the piece I need to use. Um, this is actually Quinlan Voss's uh, hair piece. I just painted it blonde. She is a blonde in the movie. Um, maybe if I can get the hair piece off. Oh, oh well. Um, you can see here on the back, nothing really too fancy. This was actually cloth. So the front pieces for the chest. And then the back as well were cloth. So that is uh, Valeria. Come on, get on there. She is the one, if you've seen the movie, she was the one that says, do you want to live forever? Um, so next up, this is Conan. I hand-painted his chest detail. Uh, he's holding uh, False of Doom's head with his father's uh, broken sword that I just painted to show red. Hence the brokenness rate. Right there, and then the red to show the blood because he chopped his head off. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about the movie for those of you who haven't seen it, but I figured that this figure's um, trying to get that in focus. You can see it. the uh, The hair actually suited the figure well for accuracy because it wasn't it wasn't long, but it wasn't short. This was actually right in the middle of where I needed to be, and the face actually turned out to match up fairly decent with uh, Conan's face. And then I just painted his, basically from his, I'd say like middle to lower abdomen down in brown, just to show the brown, uh, uh, what am I trying to say here? Ooh, clothes he was wearing. So that is Conan. Next is Subadai. Now Subadai is also known as Subadai Thief and Archer. Um, I just painted on a bunch of camo. Each figure is kind of different in the sense of different scenes from the movie. So this is him painted up when they stormed False of Doom's castle, uh, well, fortress. Uh, his hair piece is actually, I believe it's the Samwise Gamgee one, the Hobbit one. Uh, actually fit the character very well, and I just had to paint it up. Uh, but False, or not False of Doom, uh, Subadai, very uh, likable character, kind of mischievous, but... Very fun character, and I enjoyed building him. Uh, next up, this is... Get off of there. This is the Atlantean King. So, for those of you who have been subscribed since, I don't know, the beginning, pretty much, um, this figure and Conan were in the uh, Atlantean King... Uh, Atlantean King tomb mock that I made a long, long time ago, uh, where Conan gets the Atlantean King sword, yada, yada, yada. I'm not going to, you know spoil it too much for you guys just a normal lego skeleton face and then i just did 
used a white, pure white body, and uh, used a, I don't remember what this armor plate was from, but I just did some metal shoulder pads, painted it, you know, like a rust brown kind of, just weather it, and uh, did my best to make the crown. The crown was a pain, it really was, um, but it turned out all right for what, you know, for what it was. Next up, this figure is the General or Admiral or whoever it was from Star Wars Battlefront 2, the father of the lady who had the special sport. It was the father of the lady you could play in in Battlefront 2. Um, I was hoping to get a different headpiece, but that was the only one that I found, so I had to work with it. But is the face actually works very well for accuracy. Um, all again, all hand painted. This is actually a piece of cloth for the waist, or not the waist, the belt that's going up and around. Well, all the way around, excuse me. Uh, next up, come on, get on there. This is Captain Rex's uh, snow, uh, snow costume, snow camo. I don't know what you call it. Um, I kind of messed up on his face here, but oh well. Again, it was hard for me to get it right. Plus, I got bumped and I messed it up. And my paint, for some reason, if I'm remembering right, the paint was very runny that day. But I added uh, an antenna off of the backpack. Just hot glued that on there. Uh, again, the shoulder pads there and there. And then for the waist cape, I did just paper. I believe I hot glued that on there. And then just did a nice blue stripe all the way around. Now... Next figure, that's not where I want you to go. I want you to go on right there. Thank you. So this figure is actually a Lego Cash Productions figure. Now, I'm not sure if he's still doing videos because I haven't gotten any uh, notifications from him, haven't gotten any communication from him whatsoever, but this was one of his figures that he sent me after I sent him one, I believe is how I remember. I think, but I can't remember. Um, he customized the the head that way, gave him the uh, the bad eye. Um, it did the pauldron with the uh, kind of like shoulder neck guards up on there. All done by him. Very well detailed. Very very nice figure. Um, it was definitely appreciative that we were able to swap stuff next up this is another one of his figures this is captain rex in the rebels costume again very well detailed by him you can see there he even added the little uh back to tank or whatever that is on the back um but yeah that is captain rex from lego cash productions next up this is the mandalorian leader from star wars the clone wars with his uh dark saber uh, nothing really really too fancy about it. Just repainted it and added detail. The jetpack actually does come off. If you can do that. Just a uh, a one by two piece that I painted dark gray. And then I actually custom made that myself from a toothpick. All right, so that's on there. And then the saber is actually your normal Lego pipe that I just sanded down to get uh, smooth on both ends. You know, flat. It was more of like a rectangular shape, and then I cut it at an angle for the tip and uh, painted it. Well, I kept the black, and then I just did the white to show the detail. Um, next up, this is Bo-Katan, I believe. Again, kind of like his right-hand man. Well, right-hand woman. Um, Hand-painted the helmet and the body and whatnot. Kept the gray for the... Jetpack, as I believe that's Bo-Katan. I think that's how you say her name. I can't remember. This is uh, Quinlan Voss, actually. This is kind of just a little uh, not to canon Star Wars, more of Legends. Um, he's on the run. You know, he's a runaway Jedi. Hasn't gotten killed yet. Um, one of my better looking figures. I really like how this one turned out. Um, he's got some clone trooper armor that he's missing, and he's using this um, to kind of sneak in and out. You know, he's he puts himself, I'm a lost clone, I, I've, I've lost my battalion. But next up is Gregor. 
yeah, Commander Gregor, uh, Star Wars Rebels. Again, hand painted. Again, I don't know what happened with the paint. This the paint that I was using was very runny for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, I wanted to give arm detail better detail than what Lego was offering with the figures. Next up is Cab or Commander Wolf. Um, nothing really too special about him. Just redid detailing on the figure. Uh, just used a clone trooper torso, phase one, I believe. And then just went from there and went all out. Um, painted the... I had a uh, Count Dooku headpiece where it slicked back. But I lost it. I don't know where it went. But it actually looked very, 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 very good. Oh, excuse me. Next up, this is Captain Rex. This is another one of my best looking figures, in my opinion. Um, Star Wars Rebels. Sharpie. With paint and uh, metal. Just your normal. I'm trying to rush so you don't have to sit through all this. Next up, this is a uh, Predator. This is actually the uh, clan, like Predator Chief from uh, Alien vs. Predator. Uh, nothing really, really too fancy about it. I have the Mark of the Warrior on the forehead there. And uh, yeah, he's just got some custom detailing. I used a uh, like an olive drab green to show the uh, skin. And uh, yeah. Come on. This is Commander Thorn, if I can grab him. Thorn was uh, in Star Wars The Clone Wars. And uh, nothing really too fancy. I'm trying to rush because this is going to be a long video. But you guys can see the detail. If I can, you know, show it to you, actually. Um, next up, this is a, uh, this was, he was seen in Star Wars The Clone Wars when they were on the hunt for Ahsoka. I just used a skeleton head because I didn't have another one lying around. I didn't have a clone trooper one. But this is, uh, I don't remember, Sergeant Hound, I believe. Um, very, I really wanted to make the figure and I said, screw it, I'm going to make the figure. And uh, I was glad I did because he turned out pretty good. Next figure up, this is a uh, Jedi Temple Guard. A very amount of highly detailed stuff in here. A lot of, I had to do cutting and gluing of the fabric to get the robes. And then I just cut the uh, cloak hood there so it would more blend in with the cloak. But I hand painted the uh, Temple uh, Guard mask on there. Next up, this is the dude from Apocalypse Now. When he goes and kills the colonel at the very end of the movie. But he's got his tiger camo pants on. Uh, get on there. Thank you. Next up, this is... What is this? I don't know what this is. Hold on one second. Oh yeah, I know what this is. Okay, so this figure is actually one of the hovercraft, or hover tank, or whatever it was, uh, pilots from Rogue One. And uh, I just went through, weathered him up, gave him more accurate details. I lost his headpiece. I don't know where it went, but I have the other one still. It's actually over right there. But I need to find his helmet. I don't know where his helmet went. I can always just swap the helmet over. This is 99. The clone that ends up dying in Star Wars The Clone Wars. I don't remember what season. But I wanted to make him. You know, he's a likable, lovable character. And, uh, yeah. I used an angry face. I don't know why. But I had another face on there that was way more accurate. But, oh well. Next up, this is uh, Kowalski from... Uh, Gran Torino, I gave him his little handgun, his uh, 45 Colt, and uh, just painted a t-shirt, some dress pants, well, more of like a casual khaki, with some black shoes, painted the watch the best I could. Okay, we only got one and three quarters rows left. This is another clone, I just used a piece of paper to show, he's kind of got like a Almost like a poncho something going on. I can't really remember. But, again, he is uh, on the on the run away from the Empire trying to get out. And uh, 
going from there. Get on there. Thank you. There we go. Next up, this is my custom Lego Nazi SS Ghost Sniper. Uh, again, another video I did on him. Just a ghost sniper. I wanted to make something interesting. I got really, really bored one day. This is the second, so like second in command, pretty much to the Predator Chief. I gave him a nice little uh, shoulder cape. I guess you could call it. Got his little weapon up on the shoulder there. Again, another Mark of the Warrior. It's hard to tell on camera because I'm moving this. I'm trying to go fast, get this done. I will grab these guys right here. So I'll do two at a time. So these are the commandos from the one group. I don't remember their name. But, again, I did those. Nothing too fancy. And again, I lost all their backpacks. I don't know where they went. So there's those. This is another 501st Trooper. He is uh, another like second in command. Uh, and then I have Jesse and I don't remember the other one. But again, Clone Wars, 501st guys. They were big. They were the ones that were four fives uh, supporting getting rid of the uh, Order 66 chip. This is War Daddy from Fury. Um, I gave him a revolver. I custom uh, sharpied and painted the holster, like the kind of like a chest holster slash uh, rib cage holster he's got. Slick back hair. Whoa, did I drop him? And I did the uh, armored division insignia there. And this is, I don't remember her name, but she was from... Fury as well. She was the blonde that uh, Norman falls in love with, pretty much. And she ends up dying, which is pretty sad. But just painted and then did some Sharpie lines to show her dress detail. And then lastly, probably my best figure out of all these is Captain Rex Phase 2. There we go. So Phase 2, he's got a the accurate pauldron, clone army customs helmet, arm detail. He's missing his uh, antenna, but I can always just make one. He's got his waist cape, and uh, yeah, he's probably my best figure. So I'll pause the video here, set these guys up, and we will just do a little uh, panoramic view of the Lego figures. All right, so taking a look, we have, get into focus there. So starting off, you've got your three figures from Star Wars Rebels. You have Captain Rex, Commander Wolf, and Gregor. Um, the ATST Commander Gree Phase One. The guys from Rogue One. Uh, this one is uh, the Highwayman collectible minifigures. Very uh, happy I got that figure. Um, you have the Mandalorian. Right there. Chewbacca, Commander Grief Phase 2. So, I don't know who that is. I think that was a Lego Batman figure. And then I have uh, Clone Army Customs, Arc Trooper Havoc. I think that's who that is, but I can't remember. Uh, First Order Trooper, Commander Bakara, Clone Army Customs. Uh, Legos, um... Wounded Darth Vader. And then I have the new Darth Vader that came in the set with where you uh, fix Vader pretty much. I have uh, the very, uh, everyone loves him, but really wants to kill him. Uh, Kylo Ren. Uh, First Order Pilot. The blind dude from Rogue One. The guards two guards, and Han Solo from the something attack from Force Awakens. Uh, which figure is that? It is a First Order trooper of some sort. Oh, no, it's Rogue One Death Star trooper, I believe. Um, Inquisitor, the evil BB-8 version. Uh, kind of rare Luke Skywalker. Uh, First Order Sand Troopers. 
again there is your hovercraft hover tank hover whatever star wars figure and then uh the female jedi i can't remember her name she was in some clone wars there we go but yeah guys that's gonna wrap up the video i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like subscribe comment down below again guys don't forget to subscribe trying to get to a thousand subscribers definitely means a lot let me know what you guys think of these figures. I know this was kind of a longer video, but I kind of wanted to show them the best I could. And if they were blurry, I do apologize. I am sitting on my ground with my phone on a stand that's very low to me. And then I'm having to hold the figures. And it, it was just, it's just hard to focus on the camera, get that into focus, and hold the figures properly. So I do apologize. I hope you guys got pretty much like a gist or a very good... Uh, idea of the figures um some of them don't look very good other ones you know look very very good like phase two captain rex again like i said my vision's not the best so it's harder for me to get you know fine fine detail but i i do i work with what i've got but guys that's gonna wrap up the video hope you enjoyed like subscribe comment down below and i'll catch you guys in the next one lego man 213 out